Building a business as a veterinarian is a journey. You have put in countless hours and untold effort. It's business and it's also personal. There are many reasons you might be thinking about selling your practice. Whatever your situation, it can be difficult to imagine handing it over to someone else. After all, it was built based on your values with a team and clients that depend on you. First, understand why you want to sell. Are you looking to grow the business? Do you want more personal time? Spending too much time on administrative duties? Is retirement calling? When you understand why you want to sell, it will help you find a partner who can meet your needs. Look for experienced advisors. You may be the captain of your ship, but that doesn't mean you want to navigate alone. Surround yourself with an experienced crew. Find accounting and legal firms who have sold veterinary practices before and know the buyers. They should be able to tell you how buyers differ and what those differences may mean to you. Find a cultural fit. Your business isn't all business. A veterinary practice is a team of people with commitment, passion, and a common vision. Find a partner that understands the vision, shares your values, and appreciates the culture you've created. A sale marks the start of a long-term relationship, and the time to get to know each other is now before you make a commitment. Understand your financial goals. Long-term financial goals continue well beyond the sale. Work with your advisors to craft a deal that works for you now and for your future. Take your time. It's important to remember that thinking about selling doesn't mean you have to do it tomorrow. This time belongs to you to understand the benefits and evaluate your options. Once you make a choice, it will be a lasting decision that impacts you, your team, and your clients. Take control of the timeline until you feel confident that you've made the right decision. Selling your practice may feel like an overwhelming proposition, and you're smart to be a bit cautious. Don't get distracted by tight timelines, exploding offers, or high-pressure sales tactics. Be mindful of buyers who are hesitant to share references. Don't get to know you and are uninterested in understanding your culture and goals. If you find yourself in a situation that doesn't feel right, take a step back and break it down. Know your why. Seek advice. Find a cultural fit. Structure an offer that aligns with your goals and take your time. You will find the partner who is right for you.